Hello, this is Lars and I'm going to show you my tool SE Diary Exporter and how it works and how it works together with the online and PC version of SE Diary. Um, I will show you that on my emulator here because I think it looks a little bit better than when I sh instead of showing it to you uh, on my real pre. So when you start uh, the program for the first time you will see the settings screen um, and I just explain to you what all these settings are about. First setting is where you can select what kind of information you uh, want to save per default in your profile. Um, when you eat something, if you want to save the uh, carbon, uh, uh, high, the carbons, or if you want to just save the BEs instead of, um, you can either. Uh, uh, in the input screen just enter BE or carbon hydrates um, that doesn't matter this is only what kind of information is being saved so if you enter a BE value for instance it will automatically recalculate it into carbon hydrates and then save it on the tool. Next thing is um, if you want to show um, a proposal for how many insulin you should inject. You can just turn it on or off if you want to uh, show this uh, calculation proposal on your input screen. Uh, next is if you want to save this into your profile uh, how many insulin you injected yourself. Um, for me I set it to off or no um, because I read out my insulin pump into the tool so I don't need to save it here on my pre. Next thing is if you want to show an input screen for your blood uh, glucose value, um, which for me makes sense because you need this if you want to have the uh, insulin proposal because um, this uh, is needed for that too. And the same now here for blood sugar is if you want to save it into your profile or not. I also do not save it because I read out my uh, blood measuring device. Next thing is the correction ratio uh, you have based on uh, when, when you eat um, how many BEs uh, are being trans uh, what, what you need to recalculate uh, into um, insulin. So for me it's 1.3 in the morning, 1.5 for lunch and 1.5 in the evening. Just hit the uh, number and then you can just enter a different value, hit OK and oops this has been saved here. Same thing then is the correction rules uh, if your blood sugar is not uh, within your target range. So for how many uh, 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 units of blood sugar um, one in insulin unit is needed. So um, also you uh, enter this for in the morning, at lunch and in the evening. And the same here, just click on the number, change the value and it's being saved. Next thing is your blood sugar target, which I guess is 100 for the most people here. And then comes the login credentials for your ASI Diary account. You don't need this if you only want to record um, your data within your pre, but if you want to synchronize it to ASI Diary Online or the PC version, uh, you can enter your account credentials here. I can. I will show you later uh, how um, this is being used. Then. Okay. And when you uh, have entered all your data, you enter. Uh, you see your input screen here. And uh, let's just assume we have uh, lunch time, and I want to eat something. Well, let's say it. 7 o'clock in the evening. Normally on default this date and time is automatically set to the current date value. Uh, but now I just want to emulate it. I say OK. I eat uh, 4 BEs and my blood sugar here was 140. So a little bit out of my target range. So now here you see in the uh, proposal screen it tells me that I should inject myself 7.6 units of insulin. Um, you can also adjust this here by entering this number if you for instance don't have a pump that can uh, uh, use uh, um, insulin uh, units below 
uh, uh, 1 for instance 0 0.5 you can just enter okay now uh, and different values say okay I only can use 7 units and then you just hit the save button and this information is saved into your calendar uh, if you want to review it later just hit the calendar button or open the calendar out of your normal tool and here you see what you have eaten uh, through the day and you see here even I entered 4 BEs uh, it's been saved as carbon hydrates. Okay, let's go back to the tool. Um, so if you now want to synchronize this to as a diary, you just have to hit this little sync button here and then it says it's transmitting three records because I only had three in there for this day and successfully transmitted. Um, next button here um, this is currently not supported in this version uh, this will be a function in the next version and that enables you to enter events like sport uh, when you wake up when you go to bed uh, when you have a hypo and all that stuff you can enter in here and it's being saved uh, in the tool too so now let's go to the online website let me just zoom out a little bit Okay, so now I log in into my online account. Uh, if I had entered the password correctly. Ah, okay, and now on the web page you see here that it just received some data. And if I now go into my data screen you see um, oops no here we go you see um, the data we submitted uh, in in that screen you can also um, you can also uh, use this for um, creating several analyses and statistics um, but the problem is here uh, as you see you only see now what I have eaten and if I saved it what my bolus are or my blood sugar was. But since I read this out from my devices itself um, I'm using the PC version and I'm showing you this right now because it looks a little bit different. Okay here you see now the PC version of that tool and you see here for instance um, the values from yesterday. So you see my blood sugar values, um, you see my BEs I've eaten, you see the bolus value from the whole day and what you see here is the basal rate that was read out for my pump. Um, I can easily, uh, normally if I connect my pump or my blood sugar uh, uh, device to uh, my computer it automatically reads out the values uh, for most devices but I can also um, manually read out those those datas. So when I just go to download here then I can um, select from a whole bunch of, of devices that I want to read out. So it's a lot of devices that are supported and then I just have to select the device and then the data are being transferred. The other opportunity that I have then here is to show me some statistics from my current values um, and very interesting print out um, uh, statistics to a PDF or a Word document for instance to show this to my doctor or to my um, insurance company and that when I just print out this it looks like this for instance there are several different templates how you want to print it out so you have your logbook your complete logbook and at the end for instance you have some analyzes again how your sh sugar develops, how your values are. Uh, you can select different types of analysis before breakfast, after breakfast and all that stuff. So yeah that's what I just wanted to show you. Um, if you have any questions just send me an email. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye.